All right, so here are the ingredients that we're working with for dinner tonight. This is the before. Leaving the lasagna cooking. Kim said she's going to hold down the fort and keep an eye on things while we go for a little evening hike. Let's go check on the lasagna. I have a stowaway that tried to be sneaky and come home with me. Hi there friends and adventurers, Heather here from Heather's Hikes and Adventures and we are in beautiful St. Augustine, Florida today, specifically inside of Favor Dykes State Park, which is on the Pelicor, Pelicor Creek and uh, it's about, I would say about 20 minutes from downtown St. Augustine. If you saw my video yesterday, then you'll know I spent a good chunk of the day at St. Augustine Alligator Farm, which is the first, oldest, and largest alligator farm in the country. I think that's a thing. But I was there specifically for the baby birds. So if you want to see a lot of adorable baby birds and cool nesting behavior that you don't normally get an opportunity to see in the wild, make sure you check that video out if you haven't seen it already. But now let's talk about Faber Dyke State Park. So my plan today is to show you around the park and campgrounds. Um, I know that if you saw my last video, you saw some of the camp loop, but we'll check that out a little more in depth today. We'll check out the trails, um, the restroom, all that good stuff. Hopefully we'll be seeing some wildlife. The ranger said there's a lot of baby deer in the park right now, so I would love to see a few of those. Um, also, there's supposedly a resident bobcat, so enough said about that. You already know what I'm hoping for there. <laughs> and then um, one of the rangers saw me walking around yesterday evening before I settled in for the night and wanted to warn me that there are also a large number of cottonmouths in the area. So we may see some snakes too. We'll see. I don't know but we're definitely going to explore the park i'm definitely going to bring you with me and first i'm going to brush my teeth and change into not my pajamas since it's already noon and i had a very lazy morning relaxing here at camp um i am so comfortable in my new setup which i'm going to show you in a minute i'm back to my old new floor plan by the way the one where i use the third row bench as the bed and that way I have a lot more living space. So with my two screen doors and the back screen, I have such a nice cross breeze. The weather is gorgeous this weekend. So I just really kind of vegged out and did a lot of nothing this morning. I did some reading, some journaling, um, some list making and planning for my videos. And, oh, I'm going to be doing something really fun for dinner. I'm going to be using my Hot Logic Mini to hopefully make a delicious lasagna here at camp. So you definitely want to watch till the end to see how that turns out. And I went to Bucky's yesterday and got a chocolate pie cup that I was too tired to eat last night for dessert. So I'm going to be having that after my hopefully <laughs> delicious lasagna.
All right, I don't know if you've noticed or not, but we're working with something new here. I'm trying an external mic to see if you guys are able to hear me better and to see if I can make the sound a little more consistent without having to strain my voice and without you guys having to get frustrated about not being able to hear me sometimes. So let me know what you think down below. If you think it's an improvement, I'm working with it. I'm trying. It's not perfect solution, but it is a temporary one, hopefully. So I'm hopeful that this will be uh, workable for now, at least. All right, we're going to run to the restroom and take a nice little walk around the camp loop and check out the campground. As you can see, the main campground loop road is just a nice little dirt road. It is a little narrow if you have a bigger rick, but otherwise, no issues. Most of the sites are nice and shaded, like this one here. I actually really like this one, site number 21. I think it's one of my favorites. I like that it has a little section there you could set up your tent. Look at that vintage airstream, nice. And then straight up ahead here is the restroom, I believe, along with the bear proof trash cans. Yeah, here's the washroom. It's a nice small loop, so definitely walkable. You can see the dump station is here at the washroom area. There's the recycle and trash. And then another recycle and trash can on this side as well. This takes you to one of the accessible sites. And then this is one thing I have to say so far that I'm not a fan of here. These signs are everywhere. They're at all of the trailheads here. They warn you when you check in. So I'm guessing they have a pretty significant tick problem. There were people in the restroom, so I'll show you that a little bit later when I go to take a shower. And then I just cut through. You can see that's where I came from. And then you can loop around there. And this will take you back. I figure you don't need to see every single site to get the gist of the campground. This is another site that I like. Um, it wouldn't be good for a big rig, but I like that I could pull Tara in there and then set up my tent over here on this side. But this kind of gives you a feel for what to expect here. Most of them have at least partial shade. You can see we're already back at 15, so right around the corner is 16, and then I'm at 17 on the left. Over here is a nature trail. I did walk it last night. It's a short trail. You can see the entrance goes through there, and then there's just a big wide open space. There's an old stone fire pit over here. but you'll see what I mean about the tick warnings. This is the first Florida State Park I've stayed at that's had signage at all, at all of the trails warning you about ticks. I would absolutely love to see a pine snake. my plan this evening is to go ahead and put on some long pants with some socks over those and hit the trails before sunset while my lasagna is cooking. Alright, we're almost back to our site now. I'll show you how I have 
Tara all set up to hang out in during the day. And even though it's hot in the sun, it's been so comfortable inside under the shade. You can see Kim's nice little setup there with her Hasika awning. I've got my trash up there for right now until later and then I'll secure it tonight. There you can see Fred. All right, let's see how I have the inside set up. I do love having these screen doors. We'll call them screen doors. You can see I've got Tara in her alternate layout for the time being, probably for the next couple of months. So I've got my third row bench back as my bed, thanks to some extra foam. Strategically folded. I've got all this living space. I have my workspace set up in front of my toilet, which has a towel over it for now, my entertainment, my drinks, my portable DVD player, I've got some books I was reading, I've got my planner and my notebooks tucked in over there, my camera because I was going through my photos, I've got my key hung up right there, and I'm just getting all kinds of nice fresh breeze. I'm about to go do some more editing, have some lunch, and then I'm going to do the lasagna prep with you guys. All right, so here are the ingredients that we're working with for dinner tonight. We're going to be using an Italian cheese blend with mozzarella, provolone, parmesan, asiago, and romano. Sauce, ricotta, some seasoning, the no-boil lasagna, some ground sausage that I already cooked at home base, the star of the show, my Hot Logic Mini, and my Jackery 240. We're starting out at 75%. Let's see how long it takes or how much power it uses to make a baked lasagna at camp. Okay, I'm hoping that you're able to see everything I'm doing here. Ooh, that was probably pretty awkward for the camera. I'm gonna go ahead and have this inside the Hot Logic ready to go. I'm using a Pyrex. I'll link everything that I'm using in the description below tonight. <clears throat> I've heard that this works pretty well as a double layer in here, so we'll see that it fits pretty, it looks like it's a pretty good fit. We'll see, all oh, utensils would help. Hold please. My plan of attack is, I'm gonna put a layer down of the sauce first. And the ground beef, no, no, Mr. or Mrs. B, you cannot have any. So I'm gonna put a layer of the sauce and the sausage in first and then i'll lay the pasta on put a little dollop of ricotta and the italian cheese and just repeat a couple of times at least and then we'll reassess i have my little stasher bags that made a guest appearance on my electric pot video that i'm really loving I thought it would be a good idea to cook with my Jackery 240 this time since it's a much more accessible power station for most people so that you can see what's possible on a low budget entry level power station. <clears throat> All right, enough talking. Let me start cooking.
this is the before. Look at that sky. We're gonna go for a walk while this cooks. All right, we're leaving the lasagna cooking. Kim said she's gonna hold down the fort and keep an eye on things while we go for a little evening hike and hopefully see some deer. I did wipe myself down with bug wipes from Skin So Soft ahead of time, so hopefully that helps because the mosquitoes are definitely aggressive tonight. So we made it to the front of the Camp Loop, and that is the ranger station slash camp store. There is the trail behind there that's like two and a half miles, but I don't know if I want to do the main road. Oh, decisions, decisions. I think we're going to do the main road tonight and maybe get as far as the boat launch. And then tomorrow morning, we'll do the two-mile trail. Oh, I just saw something crossing. It was either a raccoon or a bobcat. Oh, boy. I think it was a raccoon, but I'm going to hope. That's the way in, and I think this goes to the boat launch. Yeah, I don't know how far, but we'll see if it looks close. If not, we'll turn around. Lock and the boat launch are down there. And then it looks like there's a nice little picnic area over here. So let's take a look here first. And then we'll head to the Overlook and quick backtrack and get back to camp and check on that lasagna. We made it back. Let's go check on the lasagna. All right, we're down to 57%. It's, it's definitely hot. Oh boy, it's cooking. I would say that looks pretty darn good right now. I think I'm going to add a little more sauce. I think I'm going to try to add one more thing of noodles with just a little bit of sauce and cheese on it. No, I'm not going to push it. I'll just add the sauce. All right. I've got my lights on. Door 
door is closed. I'm going to take this screen down, grab my shower bag right there, go get cleaned up, and then head in for dinner and relaxation. But first, I've got this window one up, so I'm good there. Let me go put that one up and my front window cover real quick. get cleaned up and then eat because I'm getting hungry. putting up my window covers and turning it in for the night. Okay, I am showered, fresh, clean, and feeling much better, much refreshed, much... <sighs> and now I am ready to dig into my lasagna, so it looks amazing. I'm going to go ahead and take it out without hopefully burning the crap out of my fingers. Ladies and gentlemen, we have lasagna. Woo woo! I hope it tastes half as good as it looks and smells because if you could smell this van right now, oh, my Lanta. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. <clears throat> Look at that cheesy, saucy goodness. This is so good, you guys. It's really good. <clears throat> I mean, it just tastes like regular baked lasagna. I wouldn't think it was prepared any differently. I certainly wouldn't have thought it was done in a hot logic. Okay, I don't want to toot my own horn, but toot toot. Okay, I'm getting ready to turn this super bright light off. Ooh, I don't know what just happened with my voice right there, but we're going to finally try our chocolate pie cup from Bucky's. If you saw my Bucky's video, you know how excited I am about this. Let's see. If it's as good as I hope it is. I was watching Roaming Reckless. 
her YouTube video on her first trip to Bucky's and she got one of the pie cups. I want to say it was like banana cream or key lime or something like that. And she raved about it, so. It's really good. It tastes like, um, it's like Cool Whip and chocolate pudding and chocolate mousse and like little cookie crumbles. <clears throat> it's kind of like one of those chocolate Cool Whip pies. <clears throat> it's really good. I like it a lot. Two enthusiastic thumbs up if my thumbs weren't busy holding this cup and the spoon to eat my food. Mm. What a great day. I got to take in nature. I got to camp with my friend Kim. I got a delicious chocolate pie for dessert after eating homemade baked fresh lasagna at camp and I'm enjoying my new old setup again so I'd say it doesn't get much better than that so tomorrow I think I'm gonna get up early my plan if I get to bed in a minute which I think I'm going to as soon as I finish this up I might not even finish it I might just have like half and put it back in the fridge till tomorrow but Either way, I'm going to enjoy my dessert, watch a little Netflix, maybe watch a YouTube video once I'm in bed, go to sleep, wake up bright and early, go for a little morning hike. I'll show you the river some more um, in the early morning light. Maybe we'll see some wildlife since we've kind of been striking out there. And then I think that'll be a wrap, so... I'm going to enjoy this and I will see you in the morning. All right, good morning, friends. As you can see here in the frame, since I'm such a professional cinematographer, Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm boiling water for some coffee. It's the next morning and it is a beautiful morning, although it's muggy and buggy. But aside from that, it's very pretty. I went for a little morning walk after I went to the bathroom this morning and I saw a little cottontail bunny. So I spent a little time with that cutie. And then um, just kind of wandered around a little bit. Now I'm going to enjoy some coffee at camp and then start packing up to hit the road and get back to another work week. I want to thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this time with me at Faber Dyke State Park. I was going to take you on um, <clears throat> more of a hike with me, but it was real cloudy this morning. And it's also supposed to start raining in a little bit. So... I didn't want to get too into another hike and get stormed on and, you know, you know. Plus, I'm still feeling really wussy and sore from holding my camera up, <laughs> taking all those bird pictures the other day, and then the bunny pictures didn't help. So I'm just going to give my body a break and not push myself since I'm still not at anywhere near 100%. And, um, you know. I'll be back, so there'll be plenty of time to do this again. Maybe I'll see some deer on the way out. If I do see anything good, you know, I'll share it with you. But like I was saying, I want to thank you so much for watching. It really does mean a lot to me when you take time out of your day to spend with me. And if you did like this video, feel free to give me a thumbs up, you know. That's cool. I'm good with that. 
and um, you know if you're not already subscribed and want to subscribe I'm great with that too I love our little community here and I would love for it to keep growing so with that said I will see you on the next adventure and thanks again Bye. I have a stowaway that tried to be sneaky and come home with me Look, it's got its special spider masking senses on because it won't let me focus the camera on it. But I spotted it and I'm going to shake it into the trees before we leave, so not today, spider, not today. Okay, everyone, the spider was successfully relocated under Kim's reproachful eye and I think it took a few steps towards her like it was a little upset that she wanted to kill it, but... It ran safely away, and now so am I. Here you can see if you are turning into the picnic area, there is a nature trail and Caillou, Caillou Canoe Kayak Launch over here as well. And um, <clears throat> that also gives you an overlook or view of the Pelliger Creek. Pelipper River. You know, that thing. And then you can just drive through this little picnic area. There's also some restrooms that we'll be seeing on our way out. It's like a little one-way loop through. Here you can get a kind of overview of the whole picnic area. And then you can see right over there is the restrooms that will pass on the way out. The playground. And let's go take a little look off the dock real quick. Tara, you hold down the fort. Nice accessible ramp with a bait washing station or fish washing, whatever those are called. You know, you can tell I'm not a fisher person. All right, Tara, I'm coming. It's time to get back to reality and back to work. Oh, Fred, you little camera hog. Silly old plant. Looks like we made it.